which actor portrayed a character so well that no other actor could ever replace them. Christopher Lloyd, Dr. Emmett Brown When it was time to recast James Earl Jones as Mufasa in the new Lion King remake, they replaced him with James Earl Jones. The whole time I was watching the remake I was mildly distracted wondering how freaking weird it was to go back in a studio and read the same part slash lines decades later, and then get paid more money to do the same job again. They can keep casting Gomez Adams, but Raul Julia will always and forever be the greatest. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Adams Family and Adams Family Values were both perfectly cast movies. Raul Julia, Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd, Christina Ricci, Joan Cusack, it was all perfect. Your very own Braza, you drive him away, go, off with you. But then you are feeling the little black monster. Pugsley. Edit. I adore that my most upvoted comment is about the Adams Family. Jodie Foster as Clarice Starling God bless Julianne Moore for trying though. I have to give you this one, for sure. Foster pulled off a character that was simultaneously incredibly powerful and crushingly vulnerable. That kind of duality is really rare in movies. Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, so perfect. Sir Patrick Stewart, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Rowan Atkinson as M.R. Bean. Rowan Atkinson as the Black Adder, Rowan Atkinson as the Doctor, Rowan Atkinson as Johnny English. Andre, the Giant, Rusimov as Fezzik, edit, thanks for the gold. Anybody want a peanut, he was the Brood Squad. Rain Wilson as Dwight, similarly, Steve Carroll as Michael Scott, similarly, Creed Bratton as Creed Bratton. Hugh Laurie, House. Fun fact, Hugh Laurie was on location filming a movie while they were casting for House, so he sent in a tape to audition with and he was in character the whole time. The casting director had seen a lot of British actors for the role already and had said he wouldn't look at any more because he didn't think their accents were convincing. He didn't know anything about Laurie so when he saw the tape he was loudly proclaiming that a Brit could never have given that performance and that was who he wanted. Danny DeVito as Frank Reynolds. I feel like the whole gang can't be replaced, especially Charlie. Except for maybe Mac, he almost got replaced. Rip Country Mac. J.K. Simmons as J.J.J. He's so good in that role he transcends dimensional barriers. And Cave Johnson, simply can't picture any other voice now. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump, SSSHHHHH. Don't remind them this movie exists. They will try to remake it. Robin Williams the genie in Aladdin. My favorite story from RW as the genie is that they originally had the sketches for each part drawn out but RW kept going off script into hilarious tangents they just stopped for sketching his parts until they already had it recorded. Jack Black as Poe in Kung Fu Panda. Never has an animated character been matched so will to voice actor and the dude put loads of work into trying to make him every line be delivered in a way that fits Poe as a character. I think the other people working on it said he re-record most of his lines multiple times. Jack Black clearly puts 150% into everything he does. Kung Fu Panda. School of Rock. All things tenacious D. High fidelity. Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. Johnny Depp. Captain Jack Sparrow. I was kinda disappointed by how Jack is portrayed in the last movie, s. In the first one he was witty and weird, but still a remarkable swordsman, skilled tactician, and in general a very smart man with a little bit of luck. Now, the in last few movies, and especially in the last one, he's just some dumb, cartoonish loser who gets out of troubles purely by luck and coincidence. He got hit with the Flanderization Ray super hard. Honestly, though I love Pirates 1 so much I thought they completely missed the mark in the sequels with what I actually liked in the first movie. I like the second one up till they get off Cannibal Island and that's about it. I suffer through the rest of M. Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. Dude was super into the role and played a machine so incredibly well. They have to make a CGI version of him in a lot of the newer films because no one can pull it off like he did. Edit, my highest comment is about one of my most favorite movies and actors of all time, couldn't have imagined it better. I'd also add Robert Patrick as the T-1000, none of the other Terminator versions have come close to him. Arnie is still the best but Robert Patrick is on that tier to me.